I'm gonna share the HDR settings for Neo 2. And I have to say, man, it feels so good to nail the HDR settings and, and know for sure, 100%, those are the perfect settings. And I'm gonna share with you how you can get that confidence, how you can set up the HDR and know for sure this is 100% perfection. There's no problem whatsoever. And let me show you some screenshots. So I don't want to go into the game just to not spoil anything because, you know, I'm a Dark Souls fan <laughs> and I don't want to watch any videos of any games I'm playing, you know, Elden Ring or anything. So, yeah, I don't want to show you anything on the game, but this is the game running. Uh, the game performance is not, <laughs> it's not very good. It drops to 80 frames from 120, so that's a huge drop. It has a lot of popping, uh, but the game looks good and the HDR is flawless. So let me show you uh, the game. Let me show you the settings. So these are the perfect settings, 800, 110. Why? And also I'm going to share with you the black level and how you can get that uh, right. So of course for those settings, we're going to use HGIG. So these are the settings on the TV on this LG C1. Of course, these are the perfect settings for the LG C1, CX. If you have a different TV uh, with different capabilities, you want to adjust it accordingly. That's why I'm going to share with you how to know for sure and how to adjust the sliders perfectly for your TV. So what I'm using here, of course, HGIG. And the screen brightness is on 51. This is the black level of my TV. So on SDR or HDR, this is the black level of my TV. So what that means is that usually, if I increase this screen brightness from 51 to 52, I no longer have perfect blacks. Okay? And I'm going to share with you how I set up that on every single game because it, it can vary slightly. So we have auto detect 55, warm 50. So what we are looking for when we calibrate the HDR is this number here, the estimated max CLL. And the way you can know this uh, information is by downloading this app, which is called HDR WCG Image Viewer. So you can download that app on the Microsoft Store for free and it works on Windows 11 what you do is take a screenshot of your game by pressing Windows Alt and print screen at the same time Windows Alt print screen and that's using the game bar so you can open the game bar with Windows G so you take a screenshot and you open the screenshot with this app and this app is going to tell you this max CLL. And this is what you're looking for. So on this LG C1, we are looking for a maximum of 800 nits. So this is perfect. So in this case, we set the peak brightness to 800. And I usually do, in most games, I usually do 180 for the standard brightness. But if I do that on this game, let me show you what happens. If I set this up to 180 and 800, then the game is going to try to output over 1200 nits. Okay, so then this is not right. This is not working then. It's not going to be trying to output 800 nits if we set this to 180. That's why this is so important that you take a screenshot and you verify because by taking this screenshot, I know 100% for sure that the 110 is the way to go. Let me show you. Yeah, so let me show you other examples, for example. If I do 120, this is still acceptable. It would try to output 839. That's still acceptable. So if you would like a little bit higher brightness on the mid-tones, this is okay. Let me show you another example. If we do, for example, 600 
and 180 the game's still gonna try to output over a thousand nits so it doesn't work in case you want that 180 uh, mid tones you cannot get it it's too it's gonna be too much the game is gonna try to output too much and you see yeah so I show you all the examples so 120 is okay 110 is the perfect uh, and you cannot do 180 so this is the perfect setting so how can you get the black level perfect simple what you do is you go to this screen you go to this uh, calibration screen and you have a lot of black on the game so let me go to the game if I go to the game to the calibration screen we have a lot of black on the screen and what we're going to do is we're going to use this screen brightness and the fine-tune dark areas okay when we are using VRR we have that fine-tune dark areas but first we go here to the brightness and what I like to do is I get my head close to the screen and you need to be on a black room as black as you can get it ideally you want to be on a cave to enjoy HDR that's very important that's probably the most important setting you need to be on a bright and on a dark room so what I do here is the default value is 50 okay so I start on 50 I get my head close to the screen right corner I raise this number I still have per perfect black if I raise it one click I no longer have perfect black so now from this distance where I am right now recording I cannot see any anything I need to get my head close to the screen it's very important and what we're looking for is the pixels need to be off if I do this the pixels turn on so I no longer have perfect black so on 51 I have perfect black and then I'm gonna use fine-tune so this option when we turn on VRR we have this option which which is actually designed to prevent VRR flickering uh, I've never seen VRR flickering because I'm usually playing way over 60 frames per second um, so I think VRR flickering can happen at low frame rates I've never seen it at low frame rates either but this fine-tuned dark areas is supposed to be a small black level adjustment to prevent VRR flickering but it's also useful because it allows you to do smaller increments so this is changing the black level fine-tuned dark areas is changing the black level but in smaller increments so I I turn this to one fine-tuned dark areas to one and I still have perfect black and if I turn it to two I no longer have perfect black so that's how it works it also works negative on the negative side so you can set it to 52 and then use a negative value here and see if you can get that perfect black level it also works but for me this is gonna give me an absolutely perfect black level so this is very important because many people think oh HGIG is too dark and you have probably so for example on this game here's what happens you have this on zero you have your screen brightness on 50 which is the default value because you're not checking the perfect black level so you have this on 50 and it's you might think oh that's a small difference but here's the problem you are setting this uh, standard brightness to 110 which is not high is very low actually it's almost the minimum value so the minimum value is 100 so you're just setting this up to 110 and on top of that you have on your service menu you have TPC and GSR on <laughs> so that's dimming the screen even more so that's when you start to see black crushing and you're not happy with your HDR so I also have that TPC and GSR off on the service menu and you can watch my videos to see uh, you know if you should consider doing that and doing it at your own risk uh, so that's it let me know if you have any questions again my goal is to show you how you can do it yourself so you don't have to depend on me or anyone else just in case you're playing a game that I am not playing 
nobody else is playing and you want to get a perfect HDR experience. Amazing game, I, I love this kind of games, this is just <laughs> the kind of games that I like. So let me know if you have any questions.